Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to another Dark Souls OST reaction video, where tonight, ladies and gentlemen, this is it, by the way, this is, we are on the final stretch, and don't worry, guys, I did promise you that I would be saving some of the very best till last, and fittingly enough, it comes in the form of one of the DLC bosses from Dark Souls. Now, it's probably no surprise that I saved so uh, one of perhaps the most iconic character in all of the first game till somewhere near the end because Night Autorius has one of the most iconic and tragic backstories in the whole of the actual like series. One of Gwyn's uh, faithful uh, knights alongside the likes of Hawkeye Go, uh, Dragon Slayer Ornstein and um Cilia, yeah, basically her her uh, Gwyn's assassin. But then there comes Artorius, the Abyss Walker, destined to be cursed to slay and stop the spread of the Abyss for all eternity. But through trying to stop the Abyss, it has ruined him, caused his arm to be broken, which he just dangles around uselessly during his boss fight. He's missing his famed Great Shield. And in order to spare the companionship of his uh, pet wolf Sif, he places uh, a, 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 a spell around her deep in the abyss, and just just to keep her safe. And well, you confront uh, Artorius uh, when he's just about slaying uh, a ghoul from the abyss, and he just stares at you longingly. And well, he isn't going to allow you to abyss because. Well, for a very unique reason why, and I'm going to demonstrate it to you guys very, very shortly just before we begin, because what some of you guys may not know is that there was actual dialogue for Artorius. Like, they had it in mind to um, make it a part, a, a large part of his uh, story for the dialogue to be spoken throughout his fight, just like in uh, when you fight Osiris in Dark Souls 3, but... Just to give you uh, an idea of what that is, I may as well just I may as well just showcase to you the dialogue that was used, because a lot of it uh, is calling out in reference to the fact that he's sort of familiar for who who we are, and well, it's got to be down here somewhere. Um, that's uh, there we are. Here it is, and this was cut from the game, where it really should have just stayed in because there wasn't really. Anything wrong. Wherever thou art, stay away. Soon, I will be consumed by them, by the dark. Ugh. Ugh. Makes sense. This is when he was all just like oh, I'm strong here. Yeah. Surely, mankind are more than pure dark. I beg of the spread of the abyss. It must be stopped. Sif, <coughs> ah, there you are. All of you. Forgive me, for I have availed you nothing. <sighs> so, yes, that's it, it's fitting as well is that during his final moments, uh, the first he goes, Ah, Sif, there you are. He's saying this as he's just about to die, and he knows that he's failed in his quest to stop the abyss, and yet his legacy has availed pretty much, as he says. Nobody really comes to know him as nothing more than a legend who gave his life and fought valiantly to for the for the order of of Gwyn, who foolishly believed that uh, his age of light and of fire would be replaced by that of dark. But that's just what we know of. But his fight. I, I mean, I could go on for the next five minutes and rant about uh, Artorias's story about its place in the DLC and how it like brings together the idea of how time travel works in Dark Souls. But his music is just about as tragic and as memorable as well. So here it is.
it's it's very slow and melancholic. It builds, but it doesn't. It's not bombastic or dramatic. It's very very slow. But if you anyone who ever knows anything about how Knight Art- how Artorius fights, you know that he's very very unique to pretty much every other boss in the series. Well, in in the in I should say in Dark Souls because he fights very very aggressively which means you have to play incredibly defensively because if you attack like more than once with something as fast as a rapier or a dagger he will take advantage because well as i I said before night altorius was basically he lives to uh, stop the spread of the abyss at all costs It actually, bizarrely enough, it's one of those sort of instances where even uh, back in the first game and even at this point is it explains pretty much as to why Artorius doesn't have really a second stage during his boss fight because his power has regressed so badly that the only thing he, he could do is grunt and to prevent himself being all consumed by the abyss is to uh, become buffed and to become consumed by the abyss, but then shriek and rebel and force it out as much as he can. But at the end of the day, he can't admit it. It's something that is uh, bound to him and it gives him a lot of his strength. And it's 
even just a fantastic part uh, when it comes to, uh, in retrospect, is that his glory and his uh, fantastic uh, sacrifice uh, for his kind is also extremely um, noted in, in his score. And it's even noted uh, when you consider when you fought Sif earlier in this game is that really, when you think about it, uh, Artorius' legacy in the present is not really his, but it's yours. You just don't really know it yet. But that's one of those things as well, where it seems almost as if it's probably better off that the uh, the legacy still rests uh, with Artorias, because even much later, well, depending on uh, where you see it, because you can do one of two things. You can fight Sif before you go to uh, the DLC, or you can fight him afterwards, in which the interaction with Sif will be quite different and context would suggest that when you think about it it's probably better off if you fight Sif after this because well Sif recognizes and then things like start to line up imagine what it must have been like when the DLC released and people still didn't really get the story of this game but what can you say it's it's part of the charm and part of what makes uh, great games like Dark Souls so great is that they kind of do leave it up to the player to decide what's right and what's wrong. What are they trying to convey? Who's doing what to whom? And these are the sort of things that have um, got better and been elaborated uh, over time. So that's that's an encouraging sign. So with all that being said and done, I hope all of you guys enjoyed the Night Artorias OST. And I cannot wait to see all of you guys again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.